Hello good people, I hope you're having a great day. Do you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to show you how to paint digitally in 5 minutes. I am suddenly a Russian today. I'm sorry for the weird voices. No, I'm not. I'm absolutely not. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Just spare me a little bit of fun. That's all I'm saying. God help me. The basics of digital painting in under five minutes. Grab your graphic tablets and let's do this. So to learn the very basics of digital painting, you only need to learn these four things. Brush tool, eraser tool, eyedropper tool, color swatches. Always start with making a new layer first. Go to the layer panel here and click this button. This will give you a new layer. You can double click on it to rename the layer. I'll just name it brush test. To start painting, click the brush tool here. Once selected, you can right click on your canvas to open up the brush library. You can make your own brushes or you can download my brush library that I've provided in the description. To load the brushes, click on this icon here. Then click on load brushes, select the ABR file and click open. This will load your brushes into Photoshop. You can play and experiment with these crazy brushes. Different brushes have different properties. Some of these brushes can give you a really nice textured brush stroke, while others can be plain and smooth. Make sure you use the pressure sensitivity of your graphic tablet to get light or dark strokes. You can erase your creation by selecting the eraser tool. You can quickly switch back to the brush tool using the B key. You can select different colors from the color swatches here. You can then tweak these colors using this slider. The letter H is for hue, S is for saturation and B for brightness. The hue refers to different shades of color. Saturation determines how much color information you're getting. And the brightness is of course how bright or dark the color is. If you don't see HSP sliders, you can click this icon and select it from here. If you press and hold the ALT key, you get this icon which is the eyedropper tool. With the eyedropper tool selected, you can click anywhere on the canvas to select a color. This selected color will appear right here. The eyedropper tool is also used for blending two colors together. So if I paint a red color here and a black color here, I can blend these two together. I'm gonna select the black color and paint it over the red one very lightly. This gives me a third color in between. I can now use the eyedropper tool to select the third color and paint it lightly again over the edges here. You can repeat this process until you get a nice blend. Let's use what we have learned so far to create a simple digital painting. So I'm picking up some browns from the color swatches to paint the ground and a lighter color to paint the base color of the sky. I think I'm gonna make a simple environment with our little scale dude. Some reddish browns for the distant mountains, a darker color for the top of the sky, and some basic rock formations. Here I am painting some rocks in the foreground. I am using the HSP slider to make the color darker for the foreground objects. I am loosely painting some rock shapes here and there in the foreground. Notice how the things farther away from the view seems lighter and the objects closer to our viewpoint seem darker. This has to do with the color values which I'll explain in another video. But for now let's focus on the tools that we have learnt in this video. I am adding some basic highlights and some shadows to the rocks to add more depth. I am doing this by first selecting the base color of the rock, then adjusting the brightness slider to change to a darker brown for the shadows and a lighter brown for the highlights. Now it's time to paint our little scale figure for the environment, which is always fun to do. Some more rocks in the foreground surrounding our little figure there. The sky kinda looked empty, so I added a huge moon. Maybe it's another planet? Not sure. And in the end, let's give our figure a little friend, cause everybody needs a friend, right? I'm sure there are some people who would get the reference. 
That is everything you need to learn to start painting right now. Please keep in mind that this is a beginner level tutorial for a simple digital painting. Just to get you familiar with the basic tools. I'll share more advanced techniques in other videos so make sure you stick around. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please leave a thumbs up. I have a question for you guys. What do you want to learn in the next video? Please leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. I would also like to thank all of you for the great support that I've been getting lately. Keep rocking, keep loving art, stay awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.